In this video, we're going to cover how to install your Galt variable frequency drive and connect power, motor, and control wires. Your VFD may look different based on the series or frame size, but the connection names will be the same. As always, make sure that you have followed the proper lockout, tagout, PPE, and other safety procedures. Galt VFDs are meant to be installed vertically, not horizontally. They can be wall mounted with these holes or flange mounted with these holes. Your keypad is connected through the port here. Connect your ground in either of these locations. When connecting the incoming three-phase power, connect it to the R, S, and T terminals. If you're using a three-phase drive to convert incoming single phase to outgoing three-phase power, connect your two lines on the R and S terminals. Only do this if you're sure the VFD was properly derated and upsized for this phase conversion. If your VFD is a G200S series that is sized and set up for phase conversion out of the box, there will only be two input terminals labeled L and N. When connecting the outgoing motor leads, Connect to the U, V, and W terminals. Galt VFDs always output three-phase power, so you'll use all three terminals even when converting phase. The plus, minus, and PB terminals are for use with DC reactors or braking resistors. This is a more complicated process that we won't cover in detail here. For basic controls, S1 to HDIB are the VFD's digital inputs, which are customizable. Your manual will show the default settings for each of these. If you need a syncing signal, Use the jumper between the plus 24V and PW and land your connections on a comm terminal. The syncing method is our recommendation. If you need a sourcing signal, use the jumper going from PW to comm, then land your connection on the plus 24V terminal. AI1 and AI2 are analog inputs for speed references. A 10V source is available through the plus 10V and ground terminals. AO1 and ground are for analog output. Terminals on the left-hand side, beginning with R, are the relay outputs. H1 and H2 are used for the safety off torque feature if needed. To use, both jumpers must first be removed. The 485 Modbus ports are labeled 485 plus, minus, and G. We've seen that these directions answer most questions about installing and wiring a Galt VFD, but feel free to reach out if you have other questions.